Hi, this is Marin with Quip Education. In this video, we'll talk about how to best organize your private folder. Your private folder is your own dedicated space within Quip. No documents will be shared unless you explicitly share them with other people or folders. Here are some of our tips for organizing your private folder to avoid clutter and confusion. My biggest tip is to create as many subfolders as you'd like. Personally, I create a folder for every project I work on. This helps me stay organized and on top of my work. That way, I can easily find the documents pertaining to the project I'm working on at any time. You can also set up folders for high priority projects, medium priority projects, and low priority projects, current work, and historic work. You can also create a subfolder for each team or project you're on. You can create one for this week's projects, this month's project, and this quarter's projects. However you choose to organize your folder, make sure it works for you and your workflow. Another pro tip is to add your documents to multiple folders. You can add the same Quip document to as many folders as you'd like. For example, if a design document lives in your marketing team's folder and you want it to also live in your engineering folder and your private to-do folder, easily have it live in all three. Lastly, go ahead and favorite your active documents. Whenever you're added onto a new document or chat room that you want to keep tabs on, add it to your favorite section. At the end of each week or month, clean up your favorite sidebar by unstarring the documents you no longer need to pay immediate attention to.